Project 39 mini albums, and I want to show you my Smash My Stash project of the month. I had had a 17 by 14 by 13 inch container filled with Halloween. Lots of Halloween paper, lots of Halloween embellishments, tons of Halloween ribbon because I use that for my uh, award badges that I sell on my Etsy shop. It's my big seller for this time of year. Um, so anyhow, my goal was to reduce my Halloween stash. So the only thing I want to have left after the end of this year is whatever ribbons I can fit in my ribbon box and um, just my stamps and dies. That's, that's it. I want to get rid of all my paper. So I had this doodle bug collection. It's the Monster Madness. I received it last year. Um, and I made this adorable little album and I showed that in another video. So look at the link. I'll show you these in a second, but let me show you this adorable. It's a wallet photo album. This is from another one of my cohorts on the country craft creation design team. This is from Jen Palmer. She was looking at her wallet and decided to make a mini album based on that. So it looks like, you know, a large wallet. And then you open it up to the inside. And then there's, you know, how you put your driver's license underneath the acetate. And there is some acetate there. And there would be, that would be the driver's license or whatever. And then there's other little photo mats tucked in there. Or that's a journaling card, obviously. Um, and then there's other room to store things or to put photo mats. So there's a large photo mat and that can go in the upper part of the wallet in this lower part. And I guess I could put another, um, a couple of photo mats. And also there's this little spot underneath here that you could, Oh, do I have something there? Oh, I do. I have that tucked in there. I forgot I put something in there. So anyhow, there's, there's room. And then there's these little spaces um that have more photo mats i figured if you have an instax photo um the back of this has a photo mat you could put 12 uh photos here and i guess you don't have to put them on the photo mat but you could so this one i just put paper on the top actually that can go in the back and this can go here and then, of course, I use some of the stickers from the collection. And then not only is there room there, but then you open it up here and there's more room for like a double spread. So that can you you can put just about a four by six photo, a little bit trimmed down on the top and about a five by four photo right there. But anyhow, so that was using a lot of the bigger paper I'd left over from the collection, but I still had more paper. So, um, so I made all these tags and I not only used paper, but I used some of my, um, uh, uh the cardboard that the, um, what am I trying to say? The cardboard that the backing paper of my different things in my stash. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, most of these are from stickers or from the odds and ends from another Doodlebug collection. Um, Happy Haunting. So I just used a bunch of them. I think they came out adorable. I'll probably stick them in the Etsy orders. These, all the main features here are popped up. So this I fussy cut out of a tag because there was this that had a spot of glue on it. So I just sort of covered it up. Love this little border strip. And I had this sticker. The ghosts are adorable, of course. All these little sort of candy worms. Um, I hadn't used them anywhere, so I figured they looked cute all together, right? So it, again, it was just using up scraps. Um, some of them came out better than others, but I was happy. This was from the um, puffy stickers, this guy, and then the moon, and that was a regular sticker. A couple more puffy stickers. That was cut from a tag from a six by six collection. 
And, you know, I just tried to coordinate. Here's the uh, yellow and black collection. This one, I added a piece of vinyl on top of it just to tone it down a little and then put the stickers on there. So it was sort of fun stuff. And then while I'm talking about Smash My Stash, I also had some paper that a friend gave me last year. Um, and it's been sitting in my stash and I hadn't figured out what to do with it. It was three papers from coordinating collections. I mean, like this one was more fall and then this paper was obviously Halloween and it coordinated but didn't match exactly. And then there was this paper. So I think the Halloween paper was meant for not a spooky kind of thing, but I had a lot more of that. Anyhow, so I'd used the same wallet idea. Um, this, I don't know if you can see, but underneath that, or that acetate is actually, let me put white in there. Um, I did a video on an acetate junk journal because I had a paper pad of acetate in my stash and I put that inside here. This was a sticker that came from the same collection and so it goes there, but you can't really see it because of the dark acetate. So again, more cut aparts here. So you can put your photos in there. And then here is a larger photo mat. And there is, and I'm just, this didn't come with the same collection. Is this authentique? I don't know. I've had this in my stash for many years. So anyhow, that is in there. And I did not put anything inside the little hidden spot there. I did have some stickers from, um, that matched the collection and I put, I backed them up on some card stock and put them in there. So I made three of these and they're not all the same because of course I'm using scraps. This was from a Simple Stories vintage collection. I sort of cut some and added some and made it look layered. I did add some inking on the side. That's why it looks dimensional. That was a sticker from that Simple Stories collection. Um, I didn't have a lot of that Simple Stories collection. I'd used most of it up, but I still had enough that I could get some use out of it. So there's that. And I didn't want to cover this paper up. I thought it looked cool. There was a sticker that came from that collection. Who's it by? It's from Tumble Beasts. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, but there's this sticker that I was originally going to put on the cover, but once I started to add it, I was like, yeah, it just doesn't go. So, uh, it's a cute little project. I like, I like how everything turned out. So there's that one. Oh, so I added a sticker there. See what I mean? It sort of breaks it up. I'm not sure I like that, but again, simple story sticker there. Um, same thing with this. There is acetate under there that's just clouds and bats. Sort of x-ray look. I had that left over from Simple Story, so I just added it there. Again, just a couple of photo mats there. What was this? Probably another photo mat. Yeah, from Simple Stories. It doesn't actually match. But, you know, it's okay. And I used up what I had. So there's more of those. Uh, I think they're three and a half by three and a half um, photo mats. And then inside, there is, again, this that I cut down and then added something here just to have it coordinate. And this is similar. I added something up there and same here. Just added some of that and something down there to coordinate. And there is my uh, wallet. So this actually, the paper had the spider webs in it, but 
but you can see the spider web. No, you can't because there's a glare. The spider web acetate paper, which was perfect for this. So I'll probably put these in the Etsy shop. I might. I'm trying to print out photos to send to my kids because they were talking about the different things we did for Halloween. And they asked whether or not people still do um, Halloween parties like, uh, you know, where you get a... Uh, a dish of spaghetti and kids put their hands in it blindfold and it's supposed to be worms and that kind of thing. Sort of fun stuff. But anyhow, I am so happy that I smashed my stash. I would love this collection, but there's no reason to hold on to a collection when you can use it. So I was happy I was able to use it and I made some fun things with it. I was able to use this collection. I was able to use my Simple Stories leftovers. Um, yeah, I just like knowing that I've used a lot of my stash. Oh, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of 12 by 12 Halloween paper. And that is it for my Halloween paper. I have a couple of scraps that are about six by six, but nothing, nothing crazy. So, um, stick with me. I'm going to see what I can do to use those pieces. I, it's middle of September, so I have time. So hopefully my design team people will come up some, with some fast projects because they've been fabulous this year. Go check out uh, the designers, any Country Craft Creation designers, or check out the Facebook page of Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations. Oh, and by the way, there still are tickets left. I don't know if you saw the announcement, but I am doing, I'm part of a, a team with Biddy Penny and Party Planner Papery. We're doing an in-person class in Georgetown, which is near Austin, in December, December 2nd of 2023. Uh, look for my announcement, and there are, we've sold half of the tickets, so we only have half left, and that was only a day, so they're going fast. So anyhow, thanks so much for watching, and have a fabulous day.